Two receivers wide right. Another one at the bottom of your screen. McNeil fakes the handoff. Fires the slant pattern. It is caught over the middle and spinning away is Kyle Maxwell. A well-delivered ball. And then a nice effort by Maxwell after the catch. As Louisiana Tech puts the bulk of its players well away from the ball. On the numbers on the near side. A speed handoff. The pitch goes to Harris. He is diving for the pylon. And he is in. An odd formation, a bit of trickery. Smoke Harris, coming from left to right, was able to get to the pylon, and Louisiana Tech converts its first drive. Era in Ruston with that drive down the field, capped off by a little bit of trickery. race. Self resets the offense. He'll throw. He's pressured. The ball comes out, and Self was able to reach and grab it to avoid the turnover. McNeil calling for the ball. He'll throw from the end zone. He whips it. It's intercepted at the 20. Return to the 15. Return to the 10. Return to the 5. And diving out of bounds near the 2, maybe the 3-yard line, is the defender who stepped in front of that pass over the middle and made that catch. Juice that Evans is. getting in the way of that pass. Jarrell Wembley is the running back. A quarterback sneak, right guard, and the pile is still being pushed, and it's a touchdown. Trey Self, using that 6'4", 190-pound frame, was able to keep the pinions pumping and scores from one yard away. By Self on the quarterback sneak, all set up by a great punt and the interception, and we are brand new. Crosby on a counter, breaks free, he stays on his feet, the foot race is on. Crosby at the 35, angles to the left side, looking for a block if he can get one, and finally is twisted off his feet at the 10-yard line. Louisiana Tech responds with a huge running play. Tech keeps it on the ground, and some juke steps, a jump cut, and Jarvis Thornton is in the end zone. It took two running plays. Marching down the field and going back up against the Lumberjack. And get it done on special teams, too. Another running play and stepping outside is Thornton. Thornton comes to the near side and motors far enough for another first down. First and ten for the Bulldogs. Back to the ground and a huge hole. Louisiana Tech on its last three plays has really established the running game. That was Charvis Thornton. Dedication to the running game, Lynn. You called it right off the top, and Louisiana Tech is making that work on the ground. McNeil will throw. He whips it. It's caught and strolling to the end zone is Trey Harris. Parker McNeil was able to avoid some rushing defensive lineman with his first touchdown of the season found himself with plenty of open space grabbing that ball a couple of yards off the sideline the diving miles heard unable to get to him before he crosses the goal line notes talking about coach Carthel on Roberts back then and how prepared how special he was as a lumberjack the ball is knocked loose from the quarterback. It appears to have been recovered by Stephen F. Austin back at the original line of scrimmage. McNeil calling for the football at the nine. Crosby sets up on the left now. Runs right, spinning at the goal line, and he stands up as he gets to the stripe and on into the end zone for the touchdown. Four first-half touchdowns. 28-7, Louisiana Tech leading. Brian Maurer is now in at quarterback, and he cuts it loose. It's right on the money as he teardrops it into the hands of a receiver in Louisiana Tech territory. He hands it off to Crosby. Crosby bursts through and scores as he turns it into a long touchdown run. Jacob Barnes strikes the short field goal. 
Stephen F. Austin in the red zone with its opening possession. And a misplay and a fumble and a takeaway, and that was extraordinary defensively. Absolutely extraordinary for Bennett to score with the first possession of the third quarter. Three down linemen, a linebacker rushes, throw over the middle, caught by A Bear. A Bear out in front at the 20, at the 10, at the 5, and he loops in, touchdown, Griffin A Bear. His 26th start as a Louisiana Tech Bulldog, 63 yards. Griffin A Bear for back to back weeks. Who's this defender? I was thinking in my head, don't throw a hand up, don't wave at him, don't make them throw a flag and take this away from you. You're getting out so much space off of that great burst of speed. Well, he led the whack last year with 3,201 yards passing. A loose football comes out of the hands of Miles Reed. It's picked up by Louisiana Tech, and it's taken to the end zone. A turnover turns into points. Ball loose and trying to show that off again tonight as Burnett picks up the football after it was knocked loose. There by Brooks to beating Furman today. They likely will move up considering that what happened with Texas A&M. They'll have a chance to advance a little bit higher in the rankings. Here's the quarterback moving quickly down the far side hash mark and motoring and bowling his way is Trey Self. Self looks left, throws it that way into double coverage and he drops it right into the hands. He's two for three this year. 47 has been his longest. The kick is away. And the kick is good. Bauer looks to me like he has a linebacker mentality. He'll throw it over the middle and it's intercepted at the 40 yard line. And running it back into Stephen F. Austin territory. Why can't we as, as student athletes? So now you're going to take the best possible place for, your, for yourself and your future career. There's a wide open receiver who makes the catch, makes a move and gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Stephen F. Austin. Lawton Reichel was left all alone. Reichel had a 33-yard touchdown reception last week in the third quarter against Alcorn State. Perfectly placed ball over his right shoulder. As we wrap it up in Ruston and Chris, your thoughts as we see Sonny Cumbie's career start at home here at Louisiana Tech after losing on the road at Missouri last week. But uh, your impressions of this ball game and the Bulldogs in particular? Marquise Crosby really stole the show on the ground and helped establish what Louisiana Tech needed to do.